Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Arc Aberration. We are down here still in the bioluminescence area on the cliff platform that we got built last time. We need to do a little bit of renovating on it to try to get some stuff set up. I did have a visit by a rock drake, really low level one, thank goodness. So we need to get some stuff kind of set up. I'm going to do maybe a turret or two because they can climb walls. I totally really forgot about those when we built the platform down here. But I got everything moved up for the most part from our base. Went ahead and brought it down on the Ravager and just put it in some storage cabinets. I think I still want to leave this all kind of open. I might set up just on this side or maybe over here on this side. A small little maybe 2x2. Two two. That's an actual little hut. But I want to kind of keep like the fabricator and forges and stuff like that out here. I kind of like the open base versus having it closed off. That's where the turrets will come in. We'll have maybe two of the heavy turrets. Let's take a look. I think that's the ones that... Yeah, I need to unlock them. But it does more damage because it uses four bullets at once. But that should kind of protect us if we have two of those from any of the rock drakes. It can only get to us from this side here. So I'll probably set them up here. I don't know if I'm going to do electric over here. I might. But regardless, we can make charge batteries and we can run the turrets off of those. So first things first that I want to do today, I want to kind of get some railings set up. I, <laughs> I've actually ran off the side of this a couple times already. Once was when there was an earthquake. And then we need to kind of get this sorted out a little bit better. Like I said, I just built some storage cabinets. I farmed up some resources that we have plenty to build with on this video without having to go out, hopefully. Not much is cementy paste. Uh, maybe in the next video we'll tame a frog. That way we can get cementy paste a little bit easier. But let's go ahead, and I don't think I have any pillars really made up. Two. That's going to get us a lot of nothing. So we're going to do some pillars. We're going to put out some torches. Grab a little bit of that. Might need to get some more fiber. That's the only thing. See, how many pillars are we going to need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only about nine or ten. Let's go ahead and just make ten. That way we'll have enough for sure, hopefully. And then we need some standing torches. We need some stone fence foundations. Probably going to need more stone on that, right? Wood as well. Should have plenty of wood. I left this metal smelting. This is what I've gotten from down here. When I was collecting stone, I did the big rocks that give you all that metal. We definitely need to get a forge going as soon as we can. But up top there at our old base, you know, we have our bed. Which, speaking of bed, I need to make a regular one here once we get our little hut built. But I left the forge going to smelt the metal, and I left our campfires all going to produce some more charcoal. So I can go back at a later time and hopefully get that stuff. Have some kind of made up, you know. And for these, let's go ahead and just make 10 more to start off with. And then some standing torches. That way we don't have to have our light pet on all the time. Alright, we should be set for the moment. We will need to make some more spark powder after we get everything else kind of set up. But what I'm wanting to do here... Is we'll put these pillars down. And then we'll put torches on top. We should be able to attach the standing torches. on top. Oh man, it's gonna look kind of weird. Might be something I have to play with to kind of get set right. Actually, I wonder if I can do it off of the Ravager. That might help out with the height thing. Yeah. He's got to level up already. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I plan on. And that'll kind of light it up. And then we'll put our railings here and have them kind of clip in wait I want to put down the other fence foundation first holy crap this thing is spazzing out might not be able to do it here because it's going to try to clip even with the the rock there that's alright, we can put maybe a... Maybe a pillar there? 
The building's gonna be kind of here anyways, the shacks. So that's kind of gonna get blocked off. Gotta make sure it's straight, man. I think I'll be crooked and be bugging me the whole time <laughs> we're on this map. Put another pillar out first. Yeah. Just to make it look a little bit better, because we are going to be here for quite a while at this location. Hopefully. Unless something goes wrong, we have a lot of problems with the wildlife around, like the rock drakes or whatever. I might end up having to build this too high. I don't think it'll make a difference. These do stack, right? Yeah, but we could put regular wood ones on there later if we want to. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish all this here. I'll probably stop right here, because that is our up and down. And I'm not too sure yet what I want to do up here. I might put a couple more pillars high. That way it'll give me something to kind of jump into whenever I dismount off of that with the Ravager. Just to keep from flying off the other side. But we'll figure all that out later. Let me go and get this built and we'll go from there. Looks like I made just enough of these railings. But that's not too bad, man. I kind of like it. It kind of... Lights everything up quite a bit, and that should be fine there. Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, it's a little gap there, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Like I said, we're going to have the house probably right there. Let's go and move this guy out of the way. He's got a point available. I'm thinking about whenever we tame the other ones. I'll just keep him for primarily as a pack mule and use the other one. You know, I'll, I'll ride on it. And... Yeah, it's probably just the best thing to do. We're going to build a trap whenever we go to do the other ones, though. That way we don't have any problems getting it tamed up. And it goes a little bit quicker. Let me empty this stuff out of my inventory, and we will continue on with the build. I'll just drop it all in here right now. I'll sort it out later. Not that big of a deal. So how big do we want to go? Like I said, I was thinking about doing... Either a 2x2 two two little hut, and we can go higher with it. Or maybe do three foundations. So let's make a couple foundations and see how big they are on this platform. We'll need a little bit of wood. A little bit of thatch. And I think just stone, right? We don't need fiber. I mean, we can go ahead and do all five. We'll probably need that many anyway. Only thing is, if we place this in the wrong spot... Dude, we really, really got to worry about uh, paying attention where we demolish at. Because if you mess up and select the the cliff platform when you go to demolish, <laughs> dude, that's that's everything destroyed, man. I've done it before. That's why I bring it up. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up for now. Let's just drop it over here. Hopefully we won't need to use it until we get a regular bed made. Oh, man, these are kind of big. So if we're going too wide... Or three, I mean. Tell you what, why don't we do this from the back side? That would kind of be the smart thing to do. Then we can at least line it up this way. Probably right there. Let's go ahead and put these down quick, and then we can at least see how it is. I don't want it to clip too far into the side. No, don't clip there. Attach to here. Yeah, that should be fine, and we'll go too deep. Because three, I think, would be too much. Oh, I need some more stone, I think. Oh, I need a little bit of everything. Holy crap. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Dude, we're almost out of wood. Didn't I say that I farming enough stuff up so we wouldn't have to go out. <laughs> Might need to take a little trip. But this is going to be mainly for just like putting a preserving bin in or a fridge. Stuff like that. So it doesn't need to be too big. That should be fine, honestly. Yeah, nice nice little shack, man. And then we'll probably do stone walls. And we actually need some windows, too. Two of those should be fine. Put one there, and we'll do one on the back side. And then one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven of the walls. What am I missing for these? I can make three of them. This is just to protect like our spawn point and stuff when we get the bed out from rock drakes. And then like I said out here, probably put our fabricator. I should be able to set it down onto the platform. And we'll get our forge going. I should really get that going soon. What do we need for the forge? Oh man, it's another earthquake. Uh, flint fiber, hide, and wood. Dude, see how far it throws you? <laughs> That's how it threw me off earlier, man. Now we need to go on a wood run. I am missing flint. Dude, wrong one. Yeah, I know if I jump on my mount, it'll keep that from happening. Oh. Actually, we should put our forge maybe right here in the corner. Stop throwing me around, man. So I want to do two of them. Come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. There we go. All right, cool. We'll grab just a tiny bit of this metal to start smelting up because I am kind of overweighted here. And I can't move. But I can still get thrown around by the earthquake. You know, it totally makes sense, man. There we go. That's an easy way to move it there. Dude, why can't I <laughs> why can't I dismount by it? Help a guy out here, dude. Oh man. Tell you what, we'll just put it into him. All right, so we will get you smelting. We need to go grab some wood real quick while that's going. And I think we have enough stone still. We'll grab a little bit while we're out on the Ravager. No reason not to. You and you. We'll keep the hide on us just in case we need to repair ourselves. Awesome. All right. Please, no rock drakes along the way. Cool thing is, though, man, we got so much resources up here. We'll grab this stone on the way back. That way, if we get weighed down, it won't be that big of a deal. And we shouldn't need fungal wood for anything. Oh, dude, I got to watch out. I didn't bring any of that special mushrooms with me to protect from the freezing spores or whatever you want to call it. Oh, we should be able to just start right here. Start the deforestation process. Well, let's go ahead and grab this fungal wood. Might as well, just in case. I don't remember if we needed fiber, but we will pick some while we're here. Oh, we got a tiny bit of fiber. We are starting to have some issues with water. I really need to figure out... Oh, dude, that guy's still there. I really need to figure out what I want to do about getting water up to the new base. I might just make um, a bunch of the canteens and then put a metal little water uh, container, I forget what it's called, out. That way we can just fill it up and not have to worry about it. You know, just do one huge run and then bring everything back. Wait, is this a regular rock? I thought it was a special one to give you all that metal. Oh, this one is. We should have enough stone and all that now. I just want to be able to throw this metal into the forge and get it going. We're about overweight anyways, like I was talking about, so... Let's head back and hopefully be able to get the rest of our stuff built. Not sure if I want to do two stories high right now. I was kind of thinking about it, but we will see. I might end up building a pin up here or something for our dinos. Depends on how much stuff we get. I definitely want to get a couple rock drakes. And then the megalosauruses, like I said, that's going to be kind of a lot of those. Probably going to take those in to do Rockwell. I've never fought Rockwell. 
the boss on this map. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect with him. It's going to be a learning experience for me as well. And that's good. Let's throw a little bit more wood in there since we have a bunch. Awesome. So we need to get some more walls. We need to get a ramp. We need to take you off follow before you throw us off the edge. I know you. You will do it. They can't get in, so I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing um, a door, like an actual door. Is it a ramp? What are the stone stairs called? Are oh, they called stone stairs? Never mind. <laughs> I've got this. We're fine. And I also want to do a double doorway. It should be right there. I think we'll just keep this over here on the side. We'll do our doorway next to it. Nice. A couple more walls. One, two, three, four walls should be good. Let's grab some more resources. And we need to take a look at a fabricator. I think I have enough stuff. Oil is the one thing I'm kind of worried about. All I have is the oil I've got from the chillamites or chillabites, I think they're called. Wait, what are you doing? I think we'll go ahead and go too high, even though we are not going to do a two-story at the moment. So we'll make some of those up. Let's put yours into weight again. How many walls is that? A bunch. Let's just make a bunch. And let's take a look while that's crafting at the fabricator. Oh, only 10 oil. That's not bad. And I have enough cementing paces. I think I have like 150 or so. Crystal's easy to get. And spark powder. I might have enough. If anything, we can build... I mean, we're going to have to anyways. A mortar and pestle to put in here. So we'll get that all set up. And we're going to be missing... One, two, three, four. Not too bad. Four more. Grab some more stone. And let's grab the stuff for a smithy. Just need some hide and some ingots. Dude, we are almost back to normal. What do we need for a table? We need some metal. We don't have enough metal on us. Let's grab some out of the forge here. I want to put it up on a table. I don't like having it on the floor. It kind of clips in there weird sometimes. Water pestle, and we have enough for a campfire. We do if we have some flint. Nice, man. This is going to go in the house, this stuff. All right, Smithy's going to go right here. Yeah, we're clear on the wall. Table next to it. Dude, I can't wait till I start doing my Primitive Plus playthrough. I like that so much, especially the building stuff in it and how you have to actually make firewood and dry it out and stuff. I don't know, man. It seems like the way that Ark should be played. Nice. So there's all that. We need to finish this. We're going to need some thatch, because I like doing the thatch roofs, and a little bit more of that. How many do we need? We need the slopes, two of each. What are we missing? Wood. I thought I have wood on me. Two of you, and two of you, and then, is it six of these, I think? That should finish our little house up. Oh, I didn't do a window on the... I mean, it doesn't matter to have a window on the front. I just want to be able to see out this side here. Just make sure nothing's out there.
I don't think I'm gonna be doing tech on this playthrough. Kinda had enough of the tech stuff on Extinction. It's just, man, that stuff's a mess to mess with. Element's not exactly easy to get on this map either. Even though you can make it in the charge stations, we can, we're gonna be needing it for a little bit of stuff, but we're not gonna have like a tech suit and stuff. I'm wanting to get, uh, go ahead and get a metal, or not metal, a uh, flak armor set up too while we're here. So let's go ahead and see. What do we need for the fabricator again? Some mini paste, crystal, and oil. So our cementing paste, our oil, a little bit of that, some crystal, and what else was it? Okay, I'll just put all this stuff in there for now. Oh, that's it. Nice. So we need to get some oil made up. Or not oil, gas. So let's take that, and then we need some hide. You want to throw it in the forge over here. Man, I really need to get some more oil. We'll let that cook up. We'll get maybe 15 or so. And I think my storage, I want to make some vaults. That's what I want to put on this back wall here, is uh, three, maybe four vaults. Let's get this picked up, and let's make another bed. Might have enough stuff in here. And I just need to grab some hide. Yes, please. I should really make two of them. I usually do, in case you uh, have <laughs> having a bad day and re need to respawn twice. Nice. Let's take a look. Our oil or our gas should be made. Nice. Okay, that's good. Um, let's take those out just for now. Like I said, I don't have much oil. Want to save it for later. Let's find a place to throw our fabricator down. I was thinking about putting it like right here. There we go. Because, like I said, I want to get a... Dude, my keys. I want to get a second forge put up here, mainly for charcoal. And what do we need to make some flak? Oh, wait. Flak can be made in the smithy, can it? Dude, we got to work this out with the water. I think I need some more... A little bit more metal. Go ahead and just eat this stack of mushrooms we got. That should help out a good bit. I think I'm going to go ahead right away first thing and... Oh, I need polymer. Dang it. I'm going to have to kill some crabs. That way we can get some polymer. And uh, make some canteens. Alright, what are we missing? Just a helmet. Nice, man. Well, at least we have a decent armor set. I want to get a shotgun as well. Do I not have a shotgun unlocked? Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. It goes in the fabricator. Sorry, it's been a while since I've had to make all this stuff. I usually end up looting it, so it's kind of weird. And why am I not getting anything from... Those mushrooms for water. Oh, that's kind of weird. If these don't give you water, that's kind of new. I mean, new to me at least. Yeah, we need polymer. Dang it. Hmm. We're going to have to do that at another point in time. And what about the vaults? I know those use quite a bit of polymer too, right? Yeah, 90 each. So I think what we're going to have to do, let the metal keep smelting, because it's 500 per. We're going to have to find a way to get some better oil. Uh, I know there's oil nodes up top on the surface. So that's something we might have to do. What time is it? Um, so it's 10 in the morning. So at nighttime, 
Oh, right now it's 90% day, 10% night. See, it changes a lot. We'll have to try to time it to where we can go up top side. Over that way, probably. And there's a bunch of oil nodes and stuff like that. Easy way to get that kind of stuff. But, gonna go ahead and leave this one here. We'll come back in the next one. We need to tame a frog. That way we can get cementing paste a lot easier from the bugs around. But anyways, it's a nice little shack, man. I kind of like it. It's going to be set up very nice, I think, once we get the vaults and stuff going. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.